G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back at Hackberry Creek Country Club. We've got another on-course teaching vlog. This is nine holes that I'm gonna split up just so that we can get in some good quality coaching time today. We're about to jump on the first tee. This is gonna be five holes, the next one will be four holes, and let's go tee off. All right, so I made a split second decision here to jump on the back nine. We've got a par five, let's go. <laughs> There's the fairway bunker on the left side of the fairway. I caught that a little on the toe. I think that's caught that fairway bunker. Yes, we have found the fairway bunker here and unfortunately we don't have a great lie and we're pretty close to that lip. You can actually reach this green if you have a decent lie. Not from here, this is a layup. And remember on layups, we have a plan. We're gonna figure out how far we need to hit it. Okay, so I've got 226 to the pin. Obviously I'm not going for the pin, I'm laying up. Sorry about the noise in the background. I've got a nine iron just cause that's probably all I can get over this lip. Hopefully this will go about 140, 150 yards. It'll leave me with maybe between 75 and 85 yards for my third, which is a distance that I like. Once I got over that ball, that lie was absolutely hideous. I couldn't quite advance it as far as I want and I pulled it a bit. It's in the rough, Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that was an absolute shocker of a lie there. So just had to kind of gouge one out and splash it as far as I could and happened to pull it a little bit while I did it. Okay, third shot here, we've got 109 yards. Flag looks like it's on the front. A little downwind and out of the rough. It's not gonna be super easy to get this ball to pull up. If I can get this 15 feet past the flag, I'd be pretty happy with that. We're gonna go with a 56 degree. Okay, I am a little concerned that I might get a little bit of a flyer out of this lie. That's when you get a little bit of grass in between the ball and face. It comes out with less spin and goes a lot further. But at the same time, the mistake here would be short. So if I'm a little past the flag, not the end of the world. <laughs> Funny timing, the memory card just filled up and I was just able to get that shot in before it shut me down. But interestingly, that came out entirely different to how I thought. It came out with a ton of spin, landed at the front, spun back. We've got a chip, it could even be a putt chip situation. Lots of mowers going on in the background here, folks. So we'll just kind of get this one done. Ball over on the fringe over there. And yeah, this is a putt chip. Either gonna be with pitching wedge or nine iron. Hole number 11 out here at Hackberry. Par three, 185. I shot the flag, it's 190. So pins at the flag a little bit. I'm gonna go with a seven iron here. It's slightly downwind. Pretty good, I think it's in there about 20 feet. Putting for birdie. So there's different ways of calculating how far a shot is actually playing when you take into account uphill, downhill, wind, all that sort of thing. My process for doing it personally is I figure out how far it is to the flag, so I shoot the distance. Then I add or subtract yardage. If it's uphill, I'll add yardage. Downhill, I take yardage off. And based on just experience, I can start to figure out whether that is five yards, 10 yards, or whatever the case may be. And then I, after that, then I factor in the wind. So is it helping? Is it hurting? If it's a one club wind, it might be like a 10 yard wind. So yeah, factor in. Work out how far you've got, factor in the uphill, downhill, factor in the wind, and then you'll have the playing yardage, not the actual yardage. All righty, there we go. We got about 20 feet left for birdie. See if we can roll one in. It's actually a pretty cool setting on this par three. It's probably one of my favorite holes out here. The lake, the setting, the kind of amphitheater effect here with the green is pretty cool. Hole number 12 out at Hackberry here, 545 yard, par five. We've got a bunker on the right. We want to keep this up the left-hand side. It's 
a long way right. It's right. All right, so here we are right here. It actually hit these trees, and these trees were kind enough to spit it back out here. Flag green up in here. We've got eyeballing at about 260 left here, which we can definitely get home. Let's go and, and see what we can do. Okay, second shot at this par five, 255. It's uphill, it's downwind. This might be a little too much club, but we're going for it. I'm gonna try and hit a high fade in here. Let's go. I ended up hitting it pretty soft. It's just at the front of the green. It was straight at the flag. Let's see if we can get up and down for birdie. So you'll probably notice quite often that I choke down and I choke down that three wood a little bit there as well. Often I tend to club up. I like to play a lot of punch shots. And when I do that, I choke down the club a little bit just to, just to take a little bit of distance off. That way I can control the flight. I can control where it's going and they tend to be better shots. So here we are at the front of the green. It's very, very soft. So they've obviously been running the sprinklers. It's like 100 plus degrees here today. So that's something that you need to take into account, obviously, as you continue to go through the round. Make sure that you understand the conditions. Is the course playing hard? Is it playing soft? Because that will affect your strategy. Here we have a chip shot. I've got a couple of clubs here. I'm going to work out the landing area. I'll let you know what I do. So I ended up playing a pretty standard 56 degree. My other club was 60. Definitely didn't need that. 56, worked out. Birdie. Okay, a little bit of a coaching moment here. Even though we shouldn't need this one, it's actually pretty important. So even on those little shots, when you chip them up, there's stuff on the ball, there was mud on that ball, I needed to clean it off. How mad would you be if you chipped that up there really nicely, you miss it because there's mud on the ball and it deviated and deflected. I know you've done it, because I've done it too. I don't do it anymore. If I miss it, it's because of me, not because there's junk on the ball. All right, we're standing on the 13th T1 under par. This is a par three, 226. I shot it to the pin, 219, going with four iron. <laughs> I hit that really solid. It drew a little more than I want. It's on the left side of the green. I think it's about 20, 25 feet away for birdie. Let's go make another one. It's a pretty interesting course out here at Hackberry. The par threes are long and the par fives are kind of on the short side. So you really need to score well on the par fives here so that you know you take advantage of those because those par threes, they're definitely longer. So we're here on the left side of the green. We've got, I guess, about a 25, 30 footer here for birdie. But the hard work is not over yet because this green is tricky. This is uphill, got a lot of break left to right. And once it starts breaking at the hole, I think it's gonna wanna turn quite a bit. Well, I did call it. That putt was looking good for a long time, but man, that thing just slid by the right side of that hole like crazy. Bogey. That was a disappointing three putt. I actually hit the first putt good, just a little too hard. It was a tricky putt. I felt like I hit the second putt pretty good as well. Maybe just a smidge too hard for that line, or maybe I just played too much break. Either way, three putt bogey. Okay, hole number 14 here at Hackberry. This is a par four, 372. It's playing back into the wind today. This was the one where there's a bunker on the right off the tee, and then it's almost an island green. We've talked about finding a target in the background, and I'm gonna go right at this Christmas tree looking guy here. I'm hitting three wood, so into this wind should pull up short of that bunker. It was definitely left of my target, but should be okay. It's in the left rough. 
shouldn't be any problem. One of my tendencies is for my right hand grip to get a little too strong and that affects a couple of things including the club face for me. So at the start of the round earlier today, I actually tweaked my grip a little bit. I was hitting a few balls out at Las Colinas this morning after getting done teaching and weakened that right hand grip which really feels very funny taking it to the course. Not the world's easiest thing to do and there are some swing thoughts that you can take to the course and it's no problem at all and others you just need to leave them on the range go out with what you've got and then work on it again once you're done this grip change it definitely feels a little weird probably something that i normally unless i wasn't playing well i'd just leave it on the range but i decided to bring it out here anyway and it's something that i need to do well pleasant surprise here it's actually in the left side of the fairway here so happy days because this is not an easy green. This is the island green, and the flag's in the back right section. We've got 134 to the pin. Normally wedge is about like 140, 145 for me, but it's in the wind. I'm gonna hit a punch nine iron, try and keep it down. When I'm hitting flighted shots, I grip down the club, I play the ball back in the stance a little bit, I stand in a little closer, and I cut that follow through off. Keeps it down, keeps it out of the air, normally works out much better than trying to hit like a hard kind of wedge or hard gap wedge from here and like I said pitching wedge I could I could get pitching wedge there easily but I don't want to get it up float it up there and then have the wind bash it around winds not going to touch this one <laughs> Yep, wind sure didn't touch it. I pulled it a little bit. It was middle of the green, but it's very back edge. Should be okay, probably in two putt range. All right, so we came in from back over in there somewhere. Obviously, this is the pin. Thanks for stating the obvious, Mike. My ball is here. This is certainly an area where a lot of people would putt from. I for sure am gonna do the putt chip. Now, I had a similar kind of situation back in vlog one. I'll link that down below that you can check out where I actually putted it. The reason why I putted it was because it was much further, the entire length of shot was much further. Here I've got maybe 18 feet. That shot in vlog one was maybe 30, 35 feet, 40 feet from memory. And this is definitely inside of my putt chip range. Well guys, that is gonna do it from Hackberry today. Five holes in, even par, not too bad. A little soft three putt bogey outside of that, pretty good. Hope you guys learned a little bit from the coaching tips that we threw in there today as well. And if you did, throw me a little thumbs up, little like, subscribe. You guys know what to do with all that sort of thing. And make sure you stay tuned for vlog four, where we'll finish out this round. Also, coaching vlogs one and two, link down below. Guys, until next time, Good golfing.